so it's been about 15 minutes since I printed my first layer. My screen here is dried off after cleaning it with the sponge and wiping it down with paper towel. Uh, my paper prints here are dry. Now, if I have issues with like the flooding and the printing where I'm putting way too much ink down, it will eventually dry. It just takes longer. Um, but this is dry because I did a, a fairly decent job of getting a nice thin coat. Um, and I can see with my other stencil like how they line up pretty easily. So one trick, since you guys are making your own printing stations at home, and obviously everybody's situation is different, but I can always line this up underneath my screen in screen reservoir of tape. and print it on the mylar and then line my paper up underneath and reset those blue tape marks where the edge of my paper is. Now, because this is my setup and I'm at home and I didn't have to move the tape, and this is one of the challenges of doing this at school, is that we have all these boards that I've made and everybody has to share them. So you have to take your tape off after every layer you print so somebody else can use it. But since I'm at home and this is mine and it's still set up, there's kind of a cool, sneaky trick that I want to show you guys. And that's that I should be able to line this up to the tape again, just like I did when I was printing. To the corner and to the corner of the tape and this edge of the paper against that edge of the tape. Lay the mylar over it. Make sure I can see it through the window. I can. And then I can line this up. Make sure I have it the right way. I think that was the right way. And you can see how the blue layer, it's going to be kind of like a puzzle piece. They should lock together a little bit. There might be some overlapping, which is normal. And then when I put my key on top of it, that's going to kind of clean up that interlocking. So there we go. Once I have it kind of set up where I want it on top of my previous layer. And so again, the paper stencil is on top of the mylar. My printing paper is underneath it, but the stencil's above it. So I have that mylar layer there, but I can set this down. I've mixed my second color. And so I often, when I buy these ink containers and I finish with them, I save them because they make some of the best ink storage containers. Those uh, Taliente, uh, that fancy sort of um, ice cream that they sell at grocery stores in the freezer section, you know, slightly smaller containers, but those make really great ink storage containers. So yeah, I've got my, my ink, I've got my ink reservoir, I've got my stencil underneath it, and I should be able to just do that light pressure sort of flood pull, and then I push down and pull towards myself and do my printing stroke, and then I can do my push flood from now on. So I printed it on the mylar, oh, looks like it needs a little bit more ink, there we go. And I can see how those, like I said, lock together, kind of like puzzle pieces. It's going to be a little loose and wiggly because that's just the nature of paper stencil. But that's all right. And now I can just flip my mylar out of the way. And just print all my prints with my second color. And again, I'm just reusing that tape mark because this is my board. And the tape didn't move. The screen didn't move out of the printing station. If I take the screen out and clean it at a sink and tighten it back in, this trick might not work. And again, what I would do is I would just print it on the mylar, line up my paper with my first color underneath the mylar, and then lift the mylar off and reset the tape. It's all about registration or lining up those layers.
And so once I'm up and running, I should be able to just keep printing. Sometimes as ink gets older, it gets a little bit thicker, which is what's happened with this ink. So I can always flood once and then do a second print stroke. Just gotta make sure I get all that ink through the screen onto the paper. So I'm done with the, the prints that I started with, and I can just go ahead and clean out the extra ink. I flooded it on accident, which means it'll be a little bit harder to clean. So what I would do is I would just go ahead and I'm just going to print it a second time on the Mylar. And then I can peel off that stencil like I did last time really nice and easy. Whereas if it was still flooded, I'd be pulling a lot of ink through the screen and just make it so much harder to clean. So much harder to clean up, which I'm all about avoiding cleaning up or making the cleanup job harder. If I can avoid it, I, I do. You can just kind of clean the squeegee off into the container. And I thought I would print this for you guys in the fast hyperspeed setting on the camera, but it went so quick I didn't even have a chance to go turn that on. All right, so that layers then printed. I'm going to go ahead and clean up my screen and uh, I'll come back to you guys when it's clean and my paper prints are dry and we're ready to print the third layer. third color to print. My first two layers are dry and they dried in about 10 minutes. So because I'm printing color next to color and not necessarily stacked on top of each other, they dry really fast. It's just a nice thing about acrylic ink. And what I did is I slid one underneath the mylar there, lined it up to my tape marks again, can lay my stencil on top of those. And again, at any point, it doesn't seem like the tape and the paper and the stencil are working with where the screen is set up because you've taken the screen out of the frame, or sorry, out of the clamps to wash it or anything. You can always line this up to the screen, print it on the mylar, line up your paper to it, and then reset your tape. Just peel these off and re-tape them down where you need them to be so they line up again. If that doesn't work, you always have the print from here on your mylar, and you can always line the paper up underneath the mylar so it lines up perfectly to the mylar. If that doesn't work, that means that your screen is shifted and it's not printing actually where the mylar says it will print. You have to clean off your mylar, dry it off, print this again on the mylar, uh, make sure your clamps are nice and tight. Sometimes people don't tighten them enough and they, the screen will slip a little bit. And uh, yeah, just some troubleshooting there. So I've got this lined up with my image underneath. Set that down on top of it, got my third color, some purple that has elements of red and blue in it. So I was hoping that'll sort of make the colors that I've chosen prior to this pop a little bit. Get some interesting contrast. And so I'll print again that lighter flood stroke, and then a harder push stroke and I'll go ahead and just do a second stroke just to make sure I get all the ink through. And there we go. 
If I like how that's lined up or how it looks, I can just peel my mylar out of the way. And start printing. And that was my last one. So I don't need to flood it because again, it's easier to clean it without it flooded. And I'll let those prints dry. Got an extra piece of paper. I might go ahead and print this on here as an example. And then I can clean up my ink. My mylar and everything and we're good to go.